Hey there, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we're diving deep into engine code P0003, which is fuel volume regulator control circuit low. So what exactly does the engine code P0003 mean? Well, it indicates issues with the fuel volume regulator control circuit. Specifically, it indicates that the circuit's voltage is lower than the expected range. This code is commonly found in vehicles equipped with electronic fuel injection systems. Let's dive into the symptoms of a sneaky little trouble code, P0003. It can cause some serious headaches under the hood. So let's break it down one symptom at a time. All right, let's start with number one, check engine light illuminated. The check engine light illuminates when there is an issue with the engine management system. A persistent P0003 code may trigger the check engine light to turn on, indicating a problem with the fuel volume regulator control circuit. Now on to number two, engine performance. With the P0003 code activated, the engine control module ECM may not receive necessary sensor data related to the fuel regulator control circuit. This can result in rough running or hesitation, impacting the engine's overall performance. Number three, visible exhaust emissions. Yep, we're talking about visible exhaust emissions. When your car is dealing with a P0003 code, it can mess with the air fuel mixture, causing it to go lean or rich. And when that happens, you might start seeing visible smoke coming from your tailpipe. In number four, we're talking about engine stalling. When your car is grappling with a P0003 code, it can cause intermittent stalling episodes. It's like your engine's playing a game of hide and seek with its power source. Let's talk about number five, lack of power. Lack of power during acceleration may occur due to the P0003 code, which affects the fuel volume regulator control circuit, leading to inadequate fuel delivery to the engine. Number six, poor fuel efficiency. Do you ever feel like you're spending more time at the gas pump than you used to? Well, that could be because of the P0003 code. This is because it affects the proper regulation of fuel volume, resulting in wastage or improper fuel utilization. As a result, the engine may not receive the optimal fuel mixture, leading to wastage or improper utilization of fuel. Number seven, engine crank but not starting. The engine may experience a no-start condition due to a lack of fuel supply resulting from the P0003 code. So what causes the engine code P0003? When your car throws a P0003, it's basically saying the fuel volume circuit voltage is low, which means it has detected less fuel to the engine. Now there are a few things that could be causing this. We're talking electrical problems, faulty fuel volume regulator or fuel pump. Let's break it down one by one. First up, we've got electrical wire issues. This covers a range of problems like dodgy connections in electrical connectors, wires that are frayed or broken, blown fuses losing the ground, switches that have gone haywire, or even issues with wires that were repaired in the past. Basically, anything that messes with the flow of electricity through the wiring system of the fuel volume regulator can set off the P0003 code. Number two, faulty fuel volume regulator. A defective fuel volume regulator may not be able to control the fuel volume injected into the engine, triggering the P0003 code. If the P0003 is caused by a faulty fuel volume regulator, it's important to check for other OBD2 codes related to a faulty fuel volume regulator. Later in this video, we'll cover the OBD2 faults that may be accompanied by P0003. And coming in at number three, faulty fuel pump, a failed fuel pump can also contribute to insufficient fuel volume, resulting in the triggering of the P0003 code. If a faulty fuel pump causes P0003, it's crucial to check for other OBD2 codes related to fuel pump issues. Check the video description for OBD2 codes related to faulty fuel pump. The P0003 code may be accompanied by various other OBD2 codes. It is important to find the root cause of P0003 to diagnose effectively. Reading other codes that come with the P0003 code may help in finding the root cause. The list of related codes is long, therefore we have provided this information in the description with their meanings. Check in the description for more details. Now how to diagnose and fix the P0003 code? When it comes to diagnosing and fixing the P0003 code, it's all about pinpointing issues with the fuel volume control circuit. Diagnosing the P0003 code typically requires specialized diagnostic tools and equipment. However, there are some methods you can try yourself to diagnose and potentially fix the issue. The first method is looking for any additional diagnostic trouble codes that may be present. 
These could provide clues about related issues contributing to the P0003 code. To fix this, address any other codes that are present, as resolving these may also resolve the P0003 code. Method two is check for electrical wire issues. Inspect the electrical wiring related to the fuel pump for any signs of damage, such as frayed wires, loose connections, or corroded terminals. Check fuses and relays related to the fuel pump circuit. Method three is inspect the fuel pump, check the fuel pump for any signs of malfunction such as unusual noises, lack of fuel pressure, or leaks. If the fuel pump is found to be faulty, it may need to be replaced. Ensure that the fuel filter is not clogged, as a restricted fuel filter can mimic symptoms of a faulty fuel pump. Finally, to prevent the occurrence of the P0003 code, it's important to implement routine maintenance and take proper care. Here are some preventative measures. Ensure that the fuel filter is replaced at the manufacturer recommended intervals to prevent clogs and restrictions in the fuel system. Use reputable fuel sources and avoid contaminated or low quality fuel that could potentially damage the fuel system components. Periodically inspect the fuel lines, connections and components for signs of wear, leaks or damage. Clean any debris or buildup that may accumulate in the fuel system. Ensure the fuse box and associated electrical components are inspected and maintained regularly. Clean any corrosion or buildup that may affect electrical connections and functionality.